candles everywhere. Here's a fish all ready to go to fry. Ma, why do you use vegetable oil? So you don't want to be using olive oil for this because olive oil burns too quickly. So my mom uses vegetable oil. And then here we have, in Jamaica, we call this a Dutch pot. It's a huge one. So we're just pouring a whole. The stove is on maximum heating up and a whole three liter bottle of oil. Also right now the windows are all open because the fish has a really raw Putting a couple pegs of garlic in the oil and as soon as the garlic browns that's when you know that the temperature is hot enough for the fish and the infusion of the garlic also helps to take the smell out of the house and it flavors the oil as well. So that's there for when the oil splatters, then it doesn't make too much of a mess. You need a sharp with a pointy edge and a spatula and it has to be stainless steel, no plastic. Gonna go the fish again. Oh, yum, 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 yum. All ready to fry. So these ones in here, they're all snapper and goat fish. This one here is all yellowtail snapper and red snapper. and red snapper. Here's a foil to put the items in and the oil. And there's me, afraid of the oil. Oh, and we forgot you have to turn on the fan. Ready, set, go. So there's four in there. But because it's so much oil, the other side is gonna take a long time to fry because the oil is changing to the fish. As you can see, the Dutch pot is not overcrowded. There's only four fish in here right now. And there's more than enough oil in here to cover the fish. So what Ma says is going to happen is that in five minutes she's going to flip it, but the other side won't need five minutes, so I'll come back and show you once it's flipped. Next step. Uh, next step, I'm taking out the piece from the pot. The using, the, the, using the fork. That's the one that is already fried. Mm -hmm. And I'm putting it into this container so most of the oil will drain off. Okay. I'm gonna wait until the temperature comes back up, the oil gets hot again, and I put some more. Oh my goodness, Ma, this is a lot of work. How long does it take? Hours. So if you were frying, frying this much fish, it would usually take you how long? Four fish? No, the whole thing. Turn around and sit. Maybe about two hours. Two hours? Yeah. And it's taking a while, because as you can see, it's done in stages. So right now we've got four. Ma says she's waiting for the oil to eat up again and we're going to show you when we add another four. Take out the fish. Here we go. So what happens if you put more than four? So you never want to crowd it. You want to give the fish space to move around. So the next time you go to Jamaica, you're gonna get a nice Dutch pot. I'm gonna find it one with this size. It's great. So this, this one is bigger than the one that I had before. Oh, my need pot lights. Why this YouTube? I'm a new hobby. It's the most expensive hobby I've ever had. It's more expensive than buying purses. 